Hi, I'm Charles Peacock, Extension Turfgrass Specialist at NC State University. We're at our Lake Wheeler Road Turfgrass Field Laboratory in Raleigh. Spring transition in North Carolina can be difficult depending on the, the year. We can have warm weather for a few days and then a cold front will come through and we'll see temperatures fall 20 degrees in a day. We can still have some cold nighttime temperatures that are going to slow down our warm season turf grass growth. A good example of that is we're looking at some zoysia grass plots and you can just look at the difference in how green certain of the cultivars are compared to others. Some are not even half not even uh, uh, half the plot is green and that's just genetic variability for that particular cultivar. One of the things we get concerned about is when do you put that first fertilization out on our warm season grasses like Bermuda and Zoysia grass and St. Augustine especially. We really suggest that people wait until the grass is completely greened up and been actively growing for about two weeks before you consider putting any fertilizer out. The exception might be with some of the lawn care companies where they fertilized early but they put a special fertilizer out with a slow release nitrogen source in it to not force a lot of growth before the grass is really in an active growth uh, condition. For more information you can go to our Turf Files website. We have Carolina lawns, we have lawn maintenance calendars, we have athletic field information and uh, you can find just about anything you need at, at, on the website. This is another turf tip from the Turfgrass Work Group at NC State. Have a great day.